Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. Thanks to the internet, we now know that women are birth givers, not mothers, that periods are simply a state of mind that biological men can experience. And now, biological women claiming that they are men are giving birth. Wow. Because they're women, but they're not acknowledging that they're women. They're still saying that they're men, which is ridiculous because giving birth should be the most female specific thing on planet earth and if you're already confused welcome to my world let's get into it but before we do make sure that you like this video subscribe to this channel if you have not already ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode apparently giving birth as a female thing is even up for debate i mean look at this this is from healthline the article is can men get pregnant is it possible yes it's possible for men to become pregnant and give birth to children of their own. In fact, it's probably a lot more common than you might think. In order to explain, we'll need to break down some common misconceptions about how we understand the term man. No, okay, let's all look at our reproductive organs. I think we can figure out whether we are male or female. Thank you and good night. Like we have literally fallen so far if there is a Healthline article telling people that men can get pregnant. If you are pregnant, you are a woman. That's a fact. Now, obviously, I have known that this whole thing was a possibility considering the state of our sad and confused world right now. I mean, we talked about it on a reaction relatively recently. Like if you search, can men have periods? The first thing that comes up from Google is yes. So obviously this is the next step in this. It's very upsetting, but I did not know that this was a movement. These people, these women, call themselves the seahorse dads because with seahorses, it's the men who give birth. So they have adopted that term for themselves. Now, before I knew that this was a term and a movement, I had seen one of these women on TikTok before. She goes by the name Danny, and she gave birth a couple of years ago, documented the whole pregnancy and all of it. It was very, very strange. It was not even doing the show yet. It was very uncomfortable. So I'm bringing Danny back to talk about their story. Danny now has a huge following and is a pioneer in this seahorse dad space. Here we are, Danny the trans dad, single dad recovering addict storyteller with a million followers. Now here's some throwbacks from Danny's pregnancy, etc. The kid is very cute. I just feel bad for her. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's another one. Like, that is a woman. Did you see Danny in the tub giving birth as a man? A man? God. So weird. There were all of these comments, people being like, how did it get out of you? The normal way! Because that's a woman! God, all right, here's another one where Danny is using the seahorse term. not a seahorse dad you are a mother god that's so weird it's so confusing and so uncomfortable all right here's another one sorry guys i'm gonna be bombarding you with these throughout this entire episode oh god on my way to detransition real quick because user 9837 said that only women can give birth that's because only women can give birth only women can get pregnant and only women can give birth. It's really not that complicated. User 9837-2804 is actually incredibly based and is factually correct. Somebody said, people and their ignorance. Ugh, Danny, you're awesome. <laughs> Try again. You can talk about ignorance when you use the correct grammar and the correct spelling of your. Thank you very much. Now, unsurprisingly, most of Danny's posts now have the comments turned off, which is very common in this space. But in addition to her TikTok, Danny also runs a blog. Danny the trans dad, sober, queer, single papa, non-binary birther. That's disgusting. Storyteller speaker. Now, one post caught my eye celebrating Trans Parents Day. This was last year. When I began my gender transition 11 years ago, the doctors told me that I should freeze my eggs if I ever wanted to have biological children. I did not freeze any of my eggs because at the time the option was not financially accessible for me. But you see, I'm someone who has always wanted to carry my child, but I've also known that I am very much not a woman. That no, that's not true, actually. I thought that in order to find my true authentic self, that I'd have to give up my dream of giving birth. And then Danny goes into how amazing it was to be a man giving birth. Like that is just weird. Not being a mother, you just wanted to experience giving birth as if it's just this like identity or costume that you can like try on for nine months as a man. No, you cannot. 
Again, like I said at the beginning, giving birth, being pregnant, being a mother, that is the most female specific thing in the entire world. It is what makes the genders different. We are biologically designed for the purpose of reproduction. Like everything about us is for that. And you're just, oh, I, I kind of wanted it, but I'm not a woman, I'm a man, I want to try as a man. No. Okay, anyway, Danny is not the only one and I'm apologizing in advance. Stick with me, guys. There's a lot of these. Record yourself baby. pregnant and then post what you created. That poor child. Oh my God, here's this person again. Can I give you a big hug? Ah! No, thanks. No! Somebody said, congrats, I'm a trans man and been thinking about kids lately. But yeah, belly touching is a big no-no. Theo, that mother, responded and said, thank you so much and definitely do it if you want to. I know I at least wanted to experience it at least once. You wanted to experience it because you are a biological woman and that is what we are designed to do. Our deepest desire is to create children that is why i wanted to experience it once but as a man oh my gosh here's another one this year has been crazy so far but my journey of being a seahorse is coming to an end my husband and i found out we were expecting a baby the first week of january we did not think it was possible and were very shocked the first few months i was very sick and we had some hard decisions to make but we decided that this would be a one-time thing and we'd make the best of it as long as i wasn't in danger i did make some early updates when i was still unsure on the outcome of things but after a while, I started feeling better and posting real updates. A few videos got very popular since my situation is not that common. We have met so many amazing people and are so grateful for the support that we've gotten. I'm glad to have been able to provide some education and spread some insight on being pregnant as a trans person. And I'm very excited to finally be able to meet our baby girl, Salem, in just over a week. Oh my god. Somebody said, as a seahorse dad, currently four weeks away from having my kiddo, I love watching your videos. They 100% make me feel less alone. My friend is doing her master's thesis on seahorse dads and transparenting. It is so lovely to see more representation. And you still think academia is so great when this is what people are doing theses on? No. Somebody said, OMG, wait, is that what people call pregnant dads? I love this. No, we don't. We don't love that. Here's another one. What the doing hey i'm so sorry if your body is going through that once a month it means you're not a man the very core of you oh my god here we go like they don't stop guys what the heck oh my gosh oh there's more i'm so sorry guys we're just keep going and just ah! to piss all you off a little bit more Oh my god, look at this. A yeah, breastfeeding baby. He is eating on my boob and I am posting it on TikTok. And this guy has all of these videos about being a male birth giver and a chest feeding male. Like, are you kidding me? Being a woman and doing female things, it is not something that you can just try on for a second, that you can diminish to nothing, that you can try to make genderless. Like I said, everything about us is designed to procreate and to carry children. And you're trying to boil that down as if it's nothing, as if it's meaningless, as if you can just like try it on and then throw it away. All right, one more. Gosh. Let's talk about trans pregnancy. What does it mean? What does it look like? Who the heck are we and how dare we go out and make babies? Really, trans pregnancy is a lot like any other pregnancy. Uh, about half of all human bodies have this really cool ability to grow a new human inside them. Yeah, about half being women, not just randomly assorted. Some of us also happen to be trans. And of those, some of us have gone through a medical transition, like me. So for me, a medical transition meant I took testosterone and I've had chest surgery. Taking testosterone means that I could grow a beard, low voice, all of these other changes, uh, a lot of which don't undo. You can see here, I'm pregnant in this photo. I'm like eight months pregnant, holding my older child while my younger child grows inside me. Um, and I still have a beard. And at this point, well, my voice was still pretty much the same. Um, but the really important thing is that even though I still look like that, I had stopped testosterone before I got anywhere close to being pregnant. In fact, I had tests done and we know I was not ovulating whilst on testosterone. So for me to be able to even like get pregnant, I had to stop it. And in terms of what our families look like, well, it kind of just looks like everybody else's. 
Uh, these are my two kids. They are now four and one, and they are happy and thriving and growing and eating me out of house and home and all those things that kids do. There's so much misinformation out there about trans people generally, and especially when it comes to things like us accessing healthcare and uh, have access. Yeah, growing our families. It's really important to me to try and give out some of the more kind of accurate info. So if you've got questions, I am more than happy, happy to ask them. That's literally what I'm here for. Uh, and yeah, sharing candid shots like my massive baby bump. I don't care if it's real or not. It is still strange. It is still confusing. And obviously my very first thought is like, what is happening to these kids that are being raised in these families? I mean, this is something that is apparently not unique anymore considering that these videos are all over tiktok that apparently this is becoming more common that kids are being raised in these kinds of homes we have no idea what's going to happen to them i mean it's all just so sad and like what is happening to all of these women in the videos that we're watching that you know were lied to and stripped away all of their womanhood everything that they felt made them a woman but deep down they still know that they want to be mothers they still know that they are designed to give birth to procreate and no matter how hard they try they can't get rid of that because it's instinct because you cannot change your sex this is not real this is more sad than anything it's weird we can laugh about it but like the state of our world it's just sad I hope you enjoyed this episode of the comment section and that you maybe even learned something new. If you have not already, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and of course, ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section episode.